Hello, Australia. Aussies. Healthy Army. Kiwis. New Zealand. I watched a really cool podcast with Joe Rogan this morning and um um have uh, Russell Crowe. And um yeah, I could definitely tell he's an Aussie. I mean that he lives there, been living there a long time 'cause um Yeah, he's originally a Kiwi, isn't he? Then he come from New Zealand? Or yeah, yeah, yeah he talks Australia. yeah. 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 I, well I thought he was originally I don't know where he was born, but I didn't think he was born in Oz or New Zealand, but Anyway, it was a really, I could really tell he was, you know, Aussie, New Zealand all the way by, by listening to him a little bit. Um, talking about blokes and, you know, just, I could just tell. So, anyway, Dave Stewart, Vanessa Amorosi, and John Stevens, they were on a um, radio show that is uh, 3AW 693 News Talk, apparently Melbourne's most popular radio station. Number one. So, um, do what now? It's at number one. Just ask him. I'm sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, that's what most popular means, bub. <laughs> number one. And um, here we go. We got uh, just wanted to let you know that John, John Farnham, we are trying our best to get him out of jail. Um, the uh, playing to win the acoustic chapel sessions has been blocked. Uh, so either 30 days they'll It'll, it, it'll automatically come unblocked, or um, or they won't retract it. So we have had it'll a go few to Patreon. videos that will have, just have to go to Patreon. Yeah. So Love doing that reaction. Now. By the, I'm sorry, Th this reaction will be um up on Patreon by the end of the day. Uh, but yeah, thank you, Greg, for doing it. No doubt. No, we'll have every minute of it. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. All right. Um. All right, we're back at the station notification. Greg, did you find something out about Russell Crowe? Crow? So, to clear up the confusion, he was born in New Zealand, but by the age of 21 had moved to Australia permanently. So, okay. former Kiwi, cool. now Australia. Now, uh, former of, Kiwi, now Aussie. <laughs> yeah, best of both worlds. All right, so here we go. This should be short. I think this is a song. It doesn't say what song it is. It doesn't have anything in the description, so we will. Um, it's a mystery song. song. We we don't. <laughs> we have no way of knowing. So, <laughs> all right. So the thing is, you know, obviously Vanessa's album is very soulful and Memphis sounding, and John's album is more rock. But on John's album, John and I wrote a, a song that we thought oh, this would be a great duet with Vanessa. We'll play a little bit of that one. And it's called Something About You. Something About You. Okay. I'll forget. Ready? Yeah. Ready or not? Good luck, studio. <laughs> Ow, that mic crunch. Okay, so something about you. I um, I was going to turn your mic off, but it was going to do the mic crunch. So <laughs> that's why we don't do that. <laughs> right. All right. Yeah. We'll start it over. Um, Egon. <laughs> So the thing is, you know, obviously Vanessa's album is very soulful and Memphis sounding and John's album is more rock, but on John's album, John and I wrote a, a song that we thought, oh, this would be a great duet with Vanessa. We'll play a little bit of that one and it's called Something About You. Something About You. Okay. Forget. Ready? Yeah. Ready or not? Good luck, studio. <laughs> Which is what George Martin said to the Beatles before every take. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, Melbourne, here we are. You know that sometimes when love is in the air. You know sometimes we're all gonna get it bad. Still in this world, we need more of it. I'm gonna make you stay. Hear what I got to say.
Okay, so I can't lie, man. That is um, that is some hellacious armies there, Vanessa and John's doing. Um, I always warmed up to the Beatles. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that. Uh, that so did John Farnham. So does um, uh, I don't know that was John Stevens. I heard. Um, but yeah, there's lots of people that warm up to the Beatles. Um, no, no, I know what it was. Um, it was in um, Muscle Shoals. Uh. Bur yeah, yeah, it was the um, it was the coach, the coach chisel, coach chisel. Um, he always warmed up to uh, satisfaction. That became the song uh, that was in question. What was it? The working man or um, working class man? Working class. The one that was about the the guy from oh, LA. Um, um, oh my god. Anyway, the beginning of it starts out like satisfaction from the Rolling Stone. That's what I was thinking of, but. So, um, yeah, and, and Dave Stewart, we have went through his discography, and it was just too long to even talk about. Uh, Dave Stewart has been a little bit of everywhere. I think he was born and raised in London, uh, in England, and, and he is um, he, he's quite a character. And I know these three have done a lot together, so um, we will be delving into that as well. Um, what do you think about so far? So Dave Stewart probably has one of the more eclectic discographies that you'll ever see. I, of course, remember him as part of the Eurythmics with Annie Lennox, Sweet Dreams, Here Comes the Rain, There's a Girl, stuff like that. Uh, but he's done all sorts of stuff. He's worked with a female saxophone player named Candy Dolfer. Uh, he's done a lot of work with uh, these two. Uh, like you said, to, to go into, into it in detail would take a whole other video. What surprises me about this is that John Stevens is just sort of kicking back, relaxing, adjusting his chair, and just lets loose with, loose with this crazy belt. It's like, where did that come from? It's weird hearing that kind of vocal power from someone who's so at ease and so relaxed. Like, you see John on stage, and he's, you know, got his rock star thing going. Harry's just sitting down, chilling, and just belting it out with that with that grit, with that crazy power. He's doing some runs. Every now and then, you'll see him str like do these weird postures where he's engaging his support system. But other than that, he's just, look at him, he's just sort of chilling and just going crazy with the vo uh, vocals. I'm surprised how well he's ha held his own with Vanessa. We know what a, a powerhouse she is. And she just says they're doing the same thing, just sit sitting there politely. Legs crossed. <laughs> yeah, legs crossed, just sounding amazing. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed how good they sound together. They're actually a, a pretty good couple, both uh, vocally and even uh, visually. They're both, uh, John's aged really well, and he's in better shape here than I am now. Honestly, than I've been in like a couple of decades. So props to him. And Vanessa always looks awesome. And Dave Stewart there, just the uh, the veteran, kind of harnessing both of these talents. It, it's a great mixture. Yeah, Dave Stewart just looks cool. Got the, yeah. uh, I can't think of the damn name of it now. But I love those hats, though. So. Fedora. Fedora. Yes, Fedora, yeah. Yeah, there you go. That's John. There's a crouch back. Uh, yeah. And Dave, Dave's just sitting in a, you know, like a, like an easy chair. Um, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Uh, there's nobody over there singing now. There was just a second ago. That could be John's got the Arnold Schwarzenegger sure. thing though. He's like subtly flexing as he's in the chair. Look at his right yeah. side. And he's yeah. like, yeah. <laughs> or, or that's just him not flexing. Who knows? You know. Um, John Stevens has um, he, he's growing on me. Um, I wouldn't say like a fungus, but. <laughs> I, I just I love how natural he is in this. Just you know, sort of like his little inter, uh, interjections and such. Yeah, he seems like he'd be a really fun guy to hang out with. And it seems like uh, I mean I know all radio stations are studios, but this seems like uh, that they're set up for either or to play instruments or because yeah. all you gotta do is plug in there and they're going to a bigger mainframe looks like. So um, that's really cool. All right, Let's do it one more time. Very short song. A song that we thought oh, this would be a great duet with Vanessa. We'll play a little bit of that one, and it's called Something About You. Something About You. Okay. I forget. Ready? Yeah. Ready or not? Good luck, studio. <laughs> George Martin said the beat was before every take. Right. Oh, yeah. Come on. Melbourne, here we are. You know that sometimes when love is in the air. No, sometimes we're all gonna get it bad. Still, in this world, we need more of it. I'm gonna make you stay. Hear what I got to say.
Thank you so much for coming in. What a Monday catch-up. Fabulous music and uh, congratulations to you all. Uh, the first single off the album, Starlight, will be released in January. Then you've got an album to come, Vanessa? Yeah, yep, next year. I think year. John will have the single in January and the album not long after, then Vanessa's single after that and the album not long after that. There's 2017 <laughs> all then sorted. And we're going to do this epic tour of all of us together. Well, oh, wow. that's what we're going to catch up on. Oh, that would so be, I'm that thinking awesome. this was 2023. Uh, oh, November 2016. Good Lord, that was a long time ago. Well, let's finish this out. Could there, could there be anything better? Uh, no. Yeah, we could all end up at the Siebel townhouse if it's still called that. <laughs> <laughs> at four o'clock in the morning. That's a very good question. Is it still called that? Uh, thank you all of you for coming. Thank you so much. Cheers. Thanks 29 so much. to 2, a news update to uh, Alicia Byrne. I um I don't have a different thing for us, OGL is all I got. Um right. <laughs> uh, so yeah, man, that was great. Um I will say Vanessa never changed her posture at all. So I do think she can belt above John. I think she can belt above just about anybody. <laughs> but but John's I mean, he has a he has a hell of a voice. I mean, he's right up there with, with. Well, um, John Farnham said that's the, Jimmy or that John Stevens was his favorite singer. So, um, that says a lot in itself. The voice himself would know a thing or two about voices. It was kind of hard to figure out who was doing the high part in some of those things, mainly because like Vanessa can go really high, but she's got a really well developed lower register too, and John can also go super high. So sometimes it felt like she was singing low and John was going really high. Sometimes it sounded like John was singing really high and she was singing really higher. So <laughs> Yeah, and I think um I think they were just ad libbing. He's like Vanessa and you know, like yeah. that shows pure. I love how natural right that, that whole thing was and just how casual and effortless it was. I mean that is natural talent meeting a whole lot of uh, hard work and discipline. And the fact that I think Dave Stewart produced both of their albums, so the fact that he knew more about when they're going to release and, and debut than they did. Yes, is, um, I, I you know that, that too. Yeah. That, 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 that's, that's a calculated man, so mm -hmm. uh, a man yeah. with a plan, as you say. So <laughs> that right, was funny you know though, I mean? right there. Like yeah. yes, yeah. I think it's going to come out, and there's like yeah, he's going to have his single, then his album, then her single, and her album, then we're going to talk. Yeah, he's got that yeah, all mapped all, out. There you go. Yeah. yeah. He's been doing it. I think or Thani sings with them a few times or plays with them a few times. So yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. That's a I'm gonna wrap. All I've been wanting to go down for a while. I guess maybe <clears throat> John Stevens was stopping me, but not no more, man. I'm a John Stevens <laughs> fan, so so no doubt. Uh, and you know, I think next on the list is Kate Sobrano, and I can't never remember. That everything's gonna be okay. Why can I not remember? Everything's going to be all right, I think. Everything's going to be all right. Okay, yeah. Yep. So that, that's definitely next. And uh, hopefully we can get John Farnham out of prison. And, um, uh, Got to be right, he's jail. On, he's on, Horrible um, place to be. He's on Patreon, and I will make that, when I upload it, I will make that free to everyone that comes. So if you'll come to Patreon and just be a free member, see how you like it. And um, then you get to see John Farnham now. There's a whole Cold Chisel concert that Dr. Cap sent me. There's a there's quite a bit of Aussie material there. Uh, the Keith Urban tributes there. So, um, yeah, much love, everybody. Thank you all um, very much. Yeah, come see us in Patreon land. <laughs> <laughs> Channel membership's cool, too. A lot of exclusive stuff there. Come join us on Discord. Let's talk music. Talk movies. Talk Australia. We'll talk everything. No, no doubt. Much love. Thank you very much. No help is real. Hell yeah. Music is your